To balance this equation, we have C7H9 plus HNO3. This is a hydrocarbon plus nitric acid. Let's count the atoms up. And that's really the key to balancing this equation is correctly counting the atoms up. So we have seven carbons, nine hydrogens. Don't forget this hydrogen here. So we have 10 hydrogens, one nitrogen, and three oxygen atoms. On the product side, we have the seven carbons again. Hydrogens, we have six plus these two here. So we have eight hydrogens and then nitrogens. We have one nitrogen here, but this three applies to everything in the parentheses. So we have three times one, three nitrogens, and then oxygens, three times two, six plus the one out here, seven. So if you count these up, it's actually not too bad. I like to leave the oxygens and hydrogens till last. Let's do the nitrogens. We put a three in front of the nitric acid. Let's update the hydrogens, nitrogens, and oxygens here. We have the nine plus the one times three, so three. So we have 12 hydrogens now. We have one times three, three nitrogens. So we balance those. And then oxygens, three times three. That gives us nine. At this point, I need to have four more hydrogens and two more oxygens. So let's fix the hydrogens. I have 12 and I have eight. So if I had six plus six, that would give me 12. I have six here. So to get this to be six, I'm gonna put a three right here. Let's update our hydrogens and oxygens now. So now I have the six hydrogens here plus three times two is six. That's 12. We've balanced the hydrogen atoms and oxygen. We have three times two. So we have the six there plus the one times the three. That gives us nine. So we've balanced this equation. The key here, first, count everything up accurately. And then second, leave the hydrogens and oxygens till last. I like to do oxygens very last. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C7H9 plus HNO3. Thanks for watching.